let's have some fun, shall we? Tonight, I'm going to be doing maybe a three or four part series on witchcraft and racism. Um, about how certain things, when you look at it through a more modern perspective, you can see subtle racism as well as how the community is um, now, currently. It's gotten better, obviously, but still the major differences on like Wicca, Hoodoo, Voodoo, Brujeria, pretty much like Wicca and like people of colors types of crafts and then certain wordings that kind of are outdated and really should be changed. But you know, we'll see. So I might get some flack for these, but you know, let's go. So if you're like me, when you first think about like white and light magic, you'll think of like white candles, you might think of the show Charmed or even you know the show Sabrina, the original one, maybe even the newer one. Um, you think of like, you know, the lighter things about, you know, Wicca and the threefold law and about how harming, you shouldn't, like, you know, you shouldn't do harming the, again, threefold law. So, I have noticed that many people don't know that Wicca is actually not as old as people think. As well, it was created by a man in England, so that's why a lot of the things are very Eurocentric. Um and do have a tendency to villainize other cultures. Even though sometimes some of the practices um, within neo-paganism are from other cultures and then appropriating it. Some things, you know, I'll, I'll go on with that in a second. Now when it comes to black magic or dark magic, you think of black candles, you think of hoodoo, voodoo, brujeria, you think of the shows like American Horror Story where they had Papa Legma, and as of recently, Mixtecuatl, which is Santa Muerte. Um, you think of all of the like, video games and uh, shows when they do witchcraft, they show animal sacrifices and um, always blame it on voodoo or hoodoo. Um, in the Latinx community, brujeria, they think is automatically like devil worship, but they use the idea of also like, animal sacrifice and stuff and thinking it's bad. So there initially, the first thought you have is that these things that are of different cultures is bad. Um, as well as many of the books that you try and find on these like practices are not from people of the culture. It's actually very hard to find books. Not because of it just being a close practice. So one of the reasons I'm doing this series specifically is because of this video below. Not only do I have one, but two of these books. So it is a bit upsetting. Right here you can see Crossroads Conjure. I've read some of this and so far most of it's more of like a reference book and doesn't really actually teach you anything as well as these books are primarily written by white writers who are not in the practice who only research this information and then don't really give much credit to the people they might tell them like oh this is like from this country or like this group of people but doesn't give them actually much credit as well as primarily it being that Wiccan books are much easier to find because the people who practiced it and did it are more modern and are able to write a whole lot more on this than when it comes to practices that are much older and are orally taught because of things like this. People are profiting off of people of color's practices and not crediting the actual people of the practice. Another big issue is when a person of color will tell someone to not use a certain thing or a certain um, situation for practice when it's something that's current close practice and people still do it and disregard disregard this person of color but then when a white person says it then they start to listen and i'm seeing that trend with the white sage more and more people finally are listening which is great but i'm seeing it more when the non people of color talk about it they get more views and more answers and more talking through it but when a person of color does it Many times over, it'll be more of them arguing back and forth, or the video won't be seen as much, and usually there's much more information on these videos um, explaining why it's sacred, why it's important, maybe why it's endangered, stuff like that. So it kind of sucks when, you know, you have one person saying stuff, and then another person says the same thing, and they get more information, like more phrase out of it, if that makes sense. Continuing the conversation with this, I am in a few groups where it's made for only people of color. Um, I have seen there that
people are more open to talk about things because they don't feel like they're gonna get judged and it does suck to see how many people there um, did start with Wicca and felt like it wasn't for them because of it, how it repressed their um, ancestral roots and then finding out more about their own history. For instance, in my video about how I got from Wicca to Brujeria, I've had multiple people tell me they didn't know that our culture had its own practice because of how um, overshadowed everything is by Wicca. Continuing with the last part of this is in the groups I'm in that do have a more mixed diversity, just about any time someone brings up something from their practice that's not Wicca, a lot of people get judgy. Not as bad as like the all right conservative Christians, but like we can't talk about any of the more traditional practices without someone bringing up how like, oh, that's bad or like, oh, you're not supposed to do this because it's got the threefold law. Not everyone believes in the threefold law. And again, like I was saying in the other video, unfortunately, it's gotten to the point where like people who aren't even in the practice, the moment they come in, all they see really much is Wicca. So they think Wicca is the only thing. And I'm seeing, that's why I joined Witch Talk. All I kept seeing was Wicca things on Witch Talk. And it took me three months to finally find more brujos. Now, how can this be helped? Instead of calling it light, white, dark black magic, start calling it malevolent or benevolent magic. Or just call it magic. Um, stop thinking that when a person tells you to post practice um, something important about it, stop calling it gatekeeping. Um, people are doing this to, you know, keep their ancestors okay, keep you safe, and to help, you know, protect the practice. Third, try and research other practices and understand their point of view. Um, it's good to research other practices anyway, just understand to not do them. And when you see somebody calling out or something, try and help that person of color. If someone has a response to something, send them to a person of color that knows more about it. I hope this gives somebody else a view that maybe they didn't think about. And yeah, I hope everyone has a good night.